An Orange County politician is under fire tonight for making inflammatory comments about Muslims. KCAL 9 Orange County reporter Stacy Butler looks at that controversy and has reaction tonight. Friday night prayers echo through this Anaheim mosque as Muslims share their fears and frustrations over bombshell comments made by an Orange County politician. I don't think she really realizes the full physical consequence on our community of her statement. Loretta Sanchez, a 10th term congresswoman who sits on the House Armed Services and Homeland Security Committees, told Larry King on his online TV show she believes up to 20% of Muslims are willing to participate in terrorism to help topple the West and create Islamic nations around the world. We know that there is a a small group, and we don't know how big that is. It can be anywhere between 5 and 20 percent from the people that I speak to that um, Islam is their religion and who have a, a desire um, for a caliphate and to, to uh, institute that in any way possible, and in particular, go after, after what they consider Western norms or way of life. Tahir Herzala attends the West Coast Islamic Society in Anaheim. He says for two decades, the Muslim community has worked closely with Sanchez. It's unfortunate that someone like Loretta, who has had such a strong relationship with our community for so long, would say something that would put our community at risk, that would literally bring danger to our doors. Uh, by, by inflaming and by adding on, by adding fuel to the fire. Now, Herzala says the mosque needs constant security. The same morning Sanchez made her comments, Herzala says a group of protesters marched just outside the mosque. He's the, word of God. the police had to come out here uh, before our congregational prayer and set up a security perimeter just to make sure that nobody gets hurt. The NAACP is now demanding an apology. Today, a spokesperson said, at a time when people of color from all across the nation continue to have their civil and constitutional rights violated, fear and hate is being promoted by yet another politician running for political office. We reached out to Sanchez for comment. She was unavailable, but released this statement, saying, I reference various conflicting opinions regarding the rate of support for ISIS and other militants among Muslims worldwide. As I clearly stated in the full interview, those studies offer only estimates based upon very limited research. There are other equally compelling data to support far lower estimates. Also in her statement, Sanchez says that she stands with Muslims as her fellow Americans. In Anaheim, Stacey Butler, KCAL 9 News.